You may have heard of permaculture, the approach to designing agricultural systems with an emphasis on self-sufficiency and reducing society's reliance on industrial production and distribution. This is done by putting the right things in the right place and watching how relationships develop between those things as they work together and support each other. Nothing goes to waste and you get a huge yield from the work that you do. Sounds good, doesn't it? The Melbourne Permablitz Network organise gatherings where people come together to share skills related to permaculture and sustainable living while creating edible gardens in backyards around Melbourne and beyond. Plug in TV went along to a permablitz in November to find out more. So today we're doing Charlie's garden. She's done about four permablitzes already and there's about, I'd say about 25 of us here. We're going to put a bit of a permaculture system in, so a chook run and some um, fruit trees uh, for the chooks to, to eat and poo under and then some veggie patches and a pond to bring in some pest, natural pest control. So I think really everyone's just working on different projects and it's moving pretty quickly. It's amazing how much work gets done when there's 20, 20, 30 people in one garden. Now the shed's gone, we might extend that garden back along that fence a little bit. Um, Adam, one of the organisers, lets everyone know about the design for the day and the ideas behind it. These garden beds out here are much more exposed, so we're going to, uh, when it comes to planting time, we're just going to focus on the things that really proved themselves through the heat last year, which was the capsicums, the eggplants, the zucchinis and the pumpkins. You know, here there's a lot of thought goes into the design and turning somebody's backyard jungle into edible paradise sounds pretty good. Yeah, yeah I'm really enjoying it so far um, and it's also a good chance to see um, some of the things that I did in my course um, in action um, in a different setting. I did a permaculture design course which is a, like a two week course um, last December and really enjoyed that. Like You sort of only get a chance to go through things once very quickly in the course so it's good to um, sort of learn by doing again and um, do some more no-dig gardens and, and look at how they're setting up the, the chicken and compost system together and get some more ideas for, for my own garden as well. Excellent. I've got it marked on the, uh, the shovel. It's, it's, uh, that, guy, that, that guy who was here before he seems to know a lot of little techniques like that. Yep. So it's, you're kind of um, sharing knowledge, aren't you? And, and you know, everybody's contributing. So it's about passing on skills but also learning new things. Well, the thing about a day like this is it lets you pick up all the little intangible little things that you don't find in a book. Yeah. Things like marking a line on a shovel. Yeah, yeah. Um, I guess when you're doing you, that's when it really sinks in. Yes. The chickens will eat the food scraps and pick through it and, the, and worms and other soil organisms will come up trying to eat, eat them and the chickens are going to want to eat those worms and things. What the chickens are going to do, they're going to turn that straw and those food scraps together as they get to the worms and everything. And they're going to do the job of turning the compost for you. And they'll be pooing on it and adding um, and helping break it down. Ponds are fantastic for bringing um, all sorts of so uh, life into your garden. So be it frogs, lizards, birds, um, all these things which can help us um, with organic pest control. So they'll come for a drink of water and they'll eat a few bugs. Anyone is welcome to come to a perma blitz and first time gardeners are especially welcome. People come to learn and get ideas for their own gardens and contribute by weeding, planting, digging or bringing food to share. It's my first perma blitz. Um, I guess I'm here really because I want to see how they do it here. I'm about to move back to the UK and I see I've studied permaculture for a few years and I think something like Permablitz really is a great way to create community. It brings people together so I wanted to see how they do it, get involved.